That looks better than I thought. <laughs> what wow. we do here is go back, 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 back. back. What's up guys? So here we are today. Uh, another day, another dollar, another day. So a couple things happened. Uh, I went to the paint store, got some hardener I needed. I got the metal flake uh, for here for today or for probably tomorrow morning. Um, what is this? It's a did spade. Oh, there you go. Roulette red. Let me get this to focus. There you go. We're going to use some of this over that there um, to give it a nice little shimmer over the whole thing. A nice little glitter effect. I also picked up, sorry, picked up some sandpaper, some 320 and 400 grit for this car. So for when we start sanding this, we get a nice um, adhesion coat um, for the artwork on this. I also went ahead and drew up the design for this hood today so this is what we're going to be painting on there uh, but as you can see uh, there's a few spots I have to go back you see all these little clear spots still I have to go back uh, clarify all of this stuff make sure I get it all nice and even and all the way down the roof <clears throat> so that we could get a nice adhesion all throughout. Um, it's pretty much all the way there, but obviously that's why I wash it off, wait for it to dry, then you can really see those nice spots, um, and you know, you're not guessing so much, so. We're gonna get that all done up, and then we'll start airbrushing. So, let me go ahead and get started, pour up some nice fresh water for ourselves, and we'll get going. Fun time. it's all nice and uh, smooth you know uh, just went over the whole thing uh, we're gonna go ahead and take off this uh, all this all this paper masking tape I'm gonna go ahead and take that off and we could just remask this because this is actually it looks okay now but once it'll dry it's gonna crinkle up and get real real gross so we're gonna take it off here and here we're gonna remask it we're gonna add paper right remasking I have to at the bottom we can leave this plastic tape. We're gonna leave that. We're just gonna remask from there down, right? And uh, we'll throw a, just like we did over here. We'll throw some masking paper, and you know, actually, maybe on this car, I could just double layer the masking paper going down, and it'll be enough to cover all the way down to the wheels. Um, that actually sounds like a pretty good plan. But I'll come back. We'll mask all the windows and stuff while it's drying. And at the same time, while all this is drying up and and all that, <clears throat> luckily it's directly in front of the fan, um, we're going to take this hood off while all of that is drying so that we could uh, get it propped up. I'll bring the hood stand back in here and we'll put it up right here somewhere. 
and we'll put the hood up on there. So I'll go ahead and start and taking off all the masking tape and and then I'll try to take off this hood. So yep, that's that's kind of what's happening now at this stage. Um, and then once we have the hood off, then we can get to airbrushing some actual airbrushing. Yes, that's actual excitement. I'm I'm ready. I'm ready to paint some stuff. pretty much at the point where I could take off the hood um, and for those of you who have never taken off a hood before um, it's pretty easy uh, even this is a pretty new electric hybrid car uh, but the hoods always come off there's usually a couple bolts some cars have four bolts some cars have two this one luckily only has one two I like to mark it right here right take a sharpie mark this edge and uh, loosen up these bolts and the whole hood will come right off uh, some vehicles will have a line connected either for a light bulb or for the washer fluid for your for your window there so you might have to splice those and you know do all that but on this car it's nice and easy just four bolts two on this side two on that side and we're good to go so I'm gonna go ahead and take it off I'm gonna bring the the big old hood easel set up in here. We'll take off this hood and we'll get started on doing the artwork finally. So, yep. See, we got the hood all set up, so I'm going to go ahead and use the projector to turn our, to put our image on there. I've turned our little image here into a digital image. We're going to use the projector to put it on there, then we'll be good to go. All right, so as you can see, I got it all. Uh, I kind of traced up on there. Just use a, my handy dandy number two pencil. Got it all on there. Use the projector. Pretty simple. Um, but now what I'm going to do is start airbrushing. So we're going to use the 4051 here satin. We're going to reduce that up. Then we're going to tense it up with some white and some black. We're going to mix up gray to start. Um, and we're going to base it out in gray. You know, get it all in there. And then we're going to go back with some black and kind of detail it in. And then finally do some white at the end to really give it all the highlights. So enjoy this awesome montage of me painting. Hopefully you guys like it. Uh, yeah.
Alright guys, so you can see, <clears throat> I, I went ahead and laid down some gray, some gray tone all through the design here. And so what I'm going to do now is mix up some black and we're going to go ahead and lay our black in and then at the very end I'll lay some white highlights all on these cards and all on the girls and stuff. And then <clears throat> once we're done with all of that, um, Obviously, I'll go back and do the rest of the artwork on the car, but uh, we're probably going to add maybe a little rose here and there, kind of ghosted in, in black over here in these areas. Maybe like a couple over there, a couple over there, and a couple over here. And, um, you know, just kind of try to fill up the little bit of space that's left. Um, get these all timed up and looking good. Um, yeah, so <clears throat> I used... The 4051, half and half with reducer, and then I added a good amount of white, and then I, I added a, a few drops of black to really get our gray here. Um, so now what I'm going to do is mix up 4051 with black and just throw in a little bit of reducer, this time only a, a small amount, and that'll give us a nice uh, opaque black, but that also we could kind of throw some little shading in there with. We'll shade this all in, line it all out real nice, um, and that way it's nice and crisp. So we'll start doing that. All right, guys, so you can see I got the black all up in there. Um, kind of outlined it out, shaded it in a little bit with the black. We got a little bit of the red, you see, showing through on the cards on the back with a little bit of that, uh, uh, what's it called, that mantle, you know, kind of effect. <clears throat> so now I'm just going to mix up a little bit of white. Again, I'm just going to mix up... 4051 with the opaque white and then I'm going to reduce that down just a little bit again just to get the white just as bright as we can and to be able to just kind of blend it in and highlight the areas that I really want um, then I'm going to come back around at the very end and I'm going to fill you know obviously like this cue and this heart have to be red that has to be red this over here has to be red maybe we'll give her some sort of red accent you know Give, we're going to give the diamond highlights and make it shine, but I don't think a red diamond really makes sense. But maybe her bracelet could be red, something like that. Um, yeah, so let's highlight it up, and it'll almost be ready to call it a wrap. So.
right, guys, so I got it all kind of outlined in and highlighted, right? See that nice design there. Uh, oh, and before I forget, I got to give a shout out to uh, OG Abel, uh, which uh, he's the artist behind the original, this original girl throwing the heart. And that's the picture the lady sent me. And then she wanted the rest of the queens to match. So I kind of came up with my own little version. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, big shout outs to OG Abel. If, you, if you're not following him or something, make sure you go follow him on all the social media stuff. Um, it's like Untouched Able or OG Able. Um, anyway, uh, what I'm going to do now is, uh, since I have white loaded in, I'm going to go ahead with my rose stencils. I'm going to add a little bit of roses and filigree over here using the stencils, just kind of ghost it in. Uh, same thing right here on the bottom and over here. So we're going to kind of do, you know, a little bit over here, a little bit right here. A little bit over here we're just going to do it a little bit faintly and white and then we're probably going to come back and highlight that area in at the same time that i'm doing that i'm going to probably go and do the back uh, over there um, but before i get carried away with all that um, i need to go over here in this corner um, and get on the plotter see the the, the, the cameo here um, and I need to print out the lettering or cut out the lettering that's going to go on the back of this so that we can have that all ready and have it pretty much done up. So, yeah, uh, I'll probably start off by putting the, the cameo to cut and then start doing all, all this in white. And then at the very end, obviously, I'm going to go back with red. We're going to put some red in this, you know, some red on the roses over here. Um, yeah, so that we don't have to jump around with so many colors. Like, you know, if I'm going to have red in the thing, might as well get all the red. And if I have white right now, I could stop, take a break from this, you know, cut cut out the lettering, get that ready and paste it on over there. And then do the roses, get those roses all nice and in there. And then, you know, go from there. I don't, I'm not just sitting here doing this. Obviously, I don't know if you notice my shirt's changed. It's a different day. Uh, but I wasn't done, so I didn't feel like, you know, starting a whole new thing today. So we're just going to continue it on to the back. So here I go. All right, guys. So I got the lettering cut out there. You can kind of see over there on the screen. Uh, you know, it says, Queens don't quit. They conquer. And I had a piece of yellow vinyl just big enough to do that. So that's what I cut out. Um, I also got the scrolly stencils and some rose stencils um ready so now we could go ahead and paint on this actually i'm missing one more thing uh, uh, that would be the mike's brush stencil so i'll probably just put this like maybe one one here and one there and then we'll probably put one across the back um, that way you know no matter what angle you're gonna end up getting one and i'll just put it in nice and faint or should I just put it here in the middle? Ooh, ooh, that'd be fancy. I don't know, but I'm gonna put this in somewhere and then, yeah, so let me start working around with these stencils and then we'll be ready to reattach the hood. All right, once we have all this artwork finished up, we'll be ready to reattach the hood. We'll tape up the rest of the car all going down We'll tape up the windows and everything, and then we'll be ready to lay some flake. The customer, the reason I wasn't able to finish this today is since she brought me some green chili like casserole yesterday. Oh, it was so delicious. Um, but she also seen the flake and she seen the, the, the hood being worked on and everything. Um, and she decided to go a different route with the flake. So. We were just going to put some red flake because that was what she had said she wanted was just regular, you know, good old red. And this is like a micro flake roulette, roulette red, uh, 0.004. So it's pretty small. Um, and she decided to switch over to this 
Shifty Red, and this is some old school flake I've had sh sitting on the shelf. I've used it for various projects over, over the years, but look at the shimmer on that, boy. So it's like, it's red flake, but it has a, like a really good, like a rainbow kind of effect uh, going on there with that. And she really loved that. She was like, yeah, that is amazing. I want that. So we're going to be doing it with some of this instead of the red flake, which I thought was like, yeah, yeah, let's do that. I, I really think that's going to look good. I, I like that rainbow flake. A lot of guys don't like it. I think it looks amazing. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, that, that's going to be the flake we're using. But let's go ahead and wrap up this artwork. Uh, let's stick that sticker back over there in that area. And then we can go ahead and lay the flake and be done with it. Uh, we can focus on this car. We'll let this car dry for a day, you know, nice and dry in here. We'll probably warm it up. Um, and then I'm going to sand back there maybe throw a little bit of bondo or whatever um, over that little spot and then we can go ahead and prep up the rest of the car and then cut out what i'm going to need for this car it's a whole nother thing <laughs> and then uh yeah so yeah let me just get started it's a lot of talking but it's also a lot of working so five minutes of talking so I, <laughs> let's get back to work though guys so as you can see we got it all laid out got our stencils collected I'm gonna put those back away um, and so what I'm gonna do now is mix up a little bit of red um, and we're gonna come back and color in the roses and obviously the red bits here on this um, actually before I move on you see you see this outline here I need to add the white outline to this one and we're gonna do a red outline on these uh, to symbolize the you know red and black cards uh, but uh, yeah I need to do that white outline but then I'm gonna mix up some red we're gonna color in these roses color in the red bits and it'll be pretty much ready to send it after that we'll reattach the hood and we'll get it masked off and we'll be ready to shoot some clear and send it off um, actually we're gonna shoot some clear we're gonna let it dry and then we're gonna buff it and then send it steps all these steps <laughs> Anyway, uh, let me mix up some red and we'll get all this colored in. Alright guys, so we got the red in there, it's looking pretty good, um, all I did was kind of haze the roses over with some red, um, and what I'm going to do now is mix up a little bit of pink, I'm just going to add white into our red mixture there, um, and we're going to go back and start adding, you know, some details onto these, uh, nothing too, too crazy, but we're going to, you know, make them nice and poppy. And then at the very end, if we feel like we need, we might go back and add some, some black, you know, onto these roses just to make them, you know, kind of extra nice. We're not going to do no white on them, nothing like that. We do want them kind of in the back, but we do want them to look, look freshy, you know. So I'm going to go ahead and mix up a little, a little bit of white into the red that we had going there, um, and then mix up the pink and get the pink in there, and we'll be all good. At the same time, I went ahead and did the red on the back already um, so you know we're almost there almost to the point where we could just go ahead and spray the flake and call it a day mm -hmm. 
Alright guys, so I got it pretty much all finished up, um, so I'm going to go ahead and mask off all the car, mask off the windows, mask off the whole bottom half of the car here. Uh, we're going to mask off this front window, then we'll reattach the hood, um, get everything nice and, and masked off, then we'll be ready for some clear. Um, we're going to do one heavy coat of flake. Um, and then we're going to do a couple coats of just nice clear um, and even all that out so that we can buff it out and get the flake uh, nice and smooth. So anyway, let's start off by masking it up, reattaching the hood, and then we could almost call it a wrap. And we'll be done with today's episode. We can move on to tomorrow's episode. the car all taped up I made sure to wipe it off with the degreaser and uh, the last thing I'm gonna do before we actually start applying the clear is wax it off I mean wax it off wipe it off with a tack cloth so we could get any little dust or anything uh, kind of left on there I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the fans and uh, you know get the, the whole air motion going through here and then I'm gonna go back there mix up some clear and we're going to throw in flake with the first, like I said, the first coat. And then after that, we're just going to do a couple coats, no flake. So, yeah. All right, so I'm just going to start up by mixing the clear. This clear is a four to one mix. So I'm just going to mix up uh, probably up to the three here. Uh, maybe the four. We'll do up to the four um, so that we can shoot the flake on the car using that. Pour that up right up to the four. And we're gonna fill in the rest up to the four here with some hardener. And we're using medium hardener today, not the extra slow stuff. Um, the weather's kind of kind of been uh, cooling off a little bit, so it's not as hot today. So the medium will work just fine for this. And I'm going to go grab the flake. Grab some flake here. I'm just going to get a pretty big scoop. Something like that. Dump that in and mix it up. And that's it. That one big scoop is probably more than enough. As you can see in here, it eats up all the light. You can't see through it. 
Um, so that's probably more than good enough. We're gonna mix it up really good, mix it up really good. We're gonna give it about five minutes, five to 10 minutes, let it sit and kind of do its thing. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off the car with the tack cloth. Then we'll get to spraying the top coat on there. And that'll probably end, uh, end it for today's episode. So thank you guys again all for watching. And we'll see you guys in the next one.